Yo, what is good, you sexy pause? What's good, boys? Today, we're going over the difference between why the Infinite Flux promo was dog shit and why theme team all-stars ea hit the lab cooked up the greatest promo of all time we're going to talk about why one flopped why one was a major hit all the differences what ea can do to be, be great going forward because fellas ea needs to keep cooking keep plaxing out bangers after bangers and i think if they use the theme team all-star method then uh we'll be we'll be set for a minute before we start though i'm gonna go cook up a little bit of an analogy here so i'm walking down the street right and my boy goes yo moshi explain the infinite flux promo in nba terms and i'm like all right it's the pistons they're detroit pistons and then they go yo give me theme team all-stars and i'm like it's the 73 and 9 warriors right after they got kevin durant it's the greatest thing of all time we are cooking with a fire right now and we need to see a banger for part two now let's cut out the dumbass analogies and move on to why these promos worked or didn't work let's start with the negativity get it out of the way early so if you guys are new here then you have not seen my rants about this god awful promo well you're in for one. First off chubba hubbard got a champion card before nick chubb nick chubb got a champion card in uh theme team all-stars all right good all right good First off, the abilities on these Infinite Flux cards are not good. We'll start with Chubba Hubbard, the backup running back for the Carolina Panthers. He gets Jukebox for free, but then that's about it. Same thing here. And that's low-key one of the better ability sets that we saw from these Infinite Flux players. Where I really want to dig into EA for is the LTD Jamar Chase. Great stats, Jamar Chase cards always play good. Something we all know, Jamar Chase is a beast, right? Well, they did not make him a beast with his abilities. Are we looking at these? I know we've all seen these. The abilities on these Infinite Flux cards are awful. Oh, and don't even get me started that none of them have baked in abilities. Yeah, 99s with zero baked in abilities. George Kittle, a massive name for EA. A great player to sell packs for. Can't use them. Does not get good abilities. Madden is unfortunately an ability based game i've said this how many times now how many times am i going to keep saying it can we get a counter on the screen probably not don't want to edit that in but it's ability based game we all know this we all live with it we all rock with it we're still playing these aren't good like one ap deep and elite we can get that for free on any theme team all-star card the next reason why this promo just did not hit was what their whole selling point was you guys you know have not been living under a rock then you know ea was trying something new with these motivator whatever they were calling them skilled motivator and then like the one with the abilities they were doing these for 97 overalls it's a very cool idea and this is what they were trying to sell us for this promo i'm sure of it every single time they try something new for a promo that's what they want to sell us on for most feared it is you know they get the scary big the scary fast for zero chill it's the presence for easter it's the presence for blitz it's got money grab for infinite flux it's 97 overalls with one card gets good abilities one card gets good stats and we're looking at his stats right now and like 92 man coverage is really good at this time of the year but it's 97s we got 99s in the promo it's not like we didn't get 99s why couldn't we get a george kittle but get three different parts of them or a quentin nelson and give me one that gets motivator boost one that gets skill boost one that gets ability boost i think they really missed a great opportunity here the three different cards is a cool concept i rock with it i hope they bring it back but i hope they do it right no one in their right mind is using a 97 overall except theme team all-star 97s those guys are fire kyle pitts you are my daddy um paul you're not using 99s or 97s you're not using infinite flux 97s you're using infinite flux 99s and it's just it doesn't really it didn't make sense at the time of the drop i was like okay but the card art's cool but okay the card art's cool and now i never see any of these cards in the game it was a waste of two weeks ea you really sold the bag on infinite flux and i this promo was not a hit we probably will never see the infinite flux promo again and i would not mind that whatsoever i think it's a cool concept i think the card art is trippy i love it we're all on yeah we all got it right 
but they really, really missed the selling point of the promo, and that, it just, it's not, it's unrecoverable from this point. Now, can we go be a little bit more positive, talk about the greatest Madden promo of all time? First things first about the greatest promo of all time. Let's just click on any random card. Okay, Tua. This could be a good one. What abilities does Tua get? Fully maxed out, ability-wise on Tua. He gets everything, everything, for free. And that's just in one slot. You also come on over, he gets everything. Almost everything, no set feet lead and pass lead and leap, but okay. This is just your regular old champion. I'm not saying Tua is a great option, because honestly, I don't think he is. Go grab Andrew Luck. But that was just a great example. Now, a really good card here, for example, is JC Horn. I also, the other selling point of this promo, the coins, I like it. It's a cool new currency slash idea, something that we don't always see. We only see it on, like, think Zero Chill. I think Thanksgiving we see a currency. Blitz we see a currency. All major promos. The players that you're supposed to quick sell, by the way, for these coins, I haven't even mentioned Joe Alt, Mr. 6, what is he, 6, 8 defensive back, that's 6, 8 defensive back, 97 speed, with 99 jump. You're supposed to quick sell this card, you're not quick selling this card, he is disgusting. AC Horn is a great corner, ba purely based off a bit, or stat wise. Come over here. God, I hate how the catalog doesn't work properly. All right, you guys can see his stats. Whatever, you guys can't see him. I'm in the way. My bad. Ability-wise, JC Horn gets everything. This is the way to do the promos. This is the way to do the abilities. EA hit the mark with their selling point of this promo. But wait, this isn't the only banging selling point. They did abilities at this time and time of the year, May, at middle of May. This time of the year, middle of May, this is what I want to see my game look like. Absolutely disgustingly broken, because people that are playing Madden, they're a little bit sweaty, right? You guys are watching this video right now, I'm assuming you're a decently good Madden player. You play this game a lot, either you do that, or you've given EA too much money to stop now, and you're addicted. Go see help. And don't get me started about my father, Trent Williams, Jordan Mylotta, or um, where's daddy, Kyle Pitts. Like, so good, dude. These cards are just insane 98 speed six foot six 245 like dude this guy is this guy is legit and it's uh it's you're supposed to quick sell this card i don't see any of us sitting here glazing the 97 infinite flux card you're supposed to, you're just not doing that because it's not it's not happening and these 97s they hit the they hit the bang with this one i'm telling you and I don't even, like, the 99 overall, like, just regular players, the Johnny Manziels, the Mark Andrews, Vince Wilforks, Micah Parsons, Harold Carmichael, Ed Tuttle Jones, I could sit here and I could talk about how amazing these cards are, but then this video would be 20 minutes, so I'm not. So you guys just need to take this for what it is. All seven or eight of these cards, amazing. Also, we got a house rules. I'm enjoying it. I got a video out yesterday, I believe, going how to win it every single time. You don't win it every single time. It's clickbait. But OBJ is a really good card, too. And you get him for absolutely nothing. Just having to grind a little bit. But if you're using these new cards, like, okay, it's fun. I'm enjoying Madden. That is really all I can say. All I can ask for when I'm, like, trying to play the game is, do I enjoy the new cards? Are the promos good? And Theme Team All-Star has given me so much that, I'm, I'm, you know, Madden's fun in May. Cannot complain. And fellas, that is everything I got today. Let me know down below which promo was better. There's only one bright option, so like, don't be an idiot. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1K, and I promise you, fellas, you're not going to want to miss the 1K special. It's going to be electric. That's everything I got, though. I'll catch you boys tomorrow with, I promise to be, a greatest video of all time. Peace!